Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for uh, Taurus, someone arising for the remainder of August 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, make sure that you're registered at Bill Per Call if you want to reach me by phone because it's a separate process. Um, and then also uh, check me out on Patreon for the Venus sign readings. I do those monthly um, and uh, check me out on TikTok. All right. So the overall ener energy we have is the five of Pentacles. We have the six of swords, the nine of swords. <clears throat> we have the page of cups, the seven of cups, the four of Pentacles justice and the uh, high priestess all right so overall energy i feel like maybe you guys are feeling uh ignored or rejected or just like someone isn't you know giving you your needs aren't me being met put it that way um so if you're in a relationship it's like your needs are not being met. You might feel unfulfilled, underappreciated. Um, and then if you're single, it may be that you're being approached, but, but by people who do not match your desires or needs, like you just don't like the people who are approaching you. Um, I feel like some of you also may be going through a breakup. Um, it's possible that, yeah, there could be a breakup. Uh, or you're already, if it's already happened, then it's like you're still going through it. You're trying to let go or move on. Uh, it seems like there's also some kind of anxiety, uh, just feeling overwhelmed. And I feel too like people just aren't willing to admit they were wrong or made a mistake. Um, and I feel like someone is definitely doing a lot of suffering uh, in silence. Um, I'm seeing like self-sabotage too like something maybe could have been pre uh, prevented but there's a lesson in it <sighs> hmm you may feel like you missed an opportunity looks like you also can't stop thinking about somebody like you're still hurting as you're letting go You have got to learn how to trust your intuition. Um, I feel like you have not been listening to it. Um, maybe now you're starting to understand something. You're starting to pay attention. There also may be someone around you that is trying to flirt or trying to show interest in you, but it's very confusing. I feel like you're not really sure. You're like, I can't tell. Is that romantic? Was that, or were they just being nice? So something also could be very confusing about someone's behavior. Um, maybe someone's sending mixed signals. Sexually, I feel like someone's, someone's needs aren't being fulfilled. Um, someone may, um, maybe sexually confused or there's some sort of sexual secrets going on mm, be careful too who you sleep with because something does look like uh sickness or illness mm. i also feel that there's just overall confusion about your situation like you maybe haven't been making the right decisions. I feel like maybe you're questioning your judgment. You're like, how did I do this? Or how did I let this happen? How did I let them get away? How did I let them do this to me? How did this, how did that? So I kind of feel like you're questioning your own judgment. Um, now also those of you that dream, I feel like you had like some sort of messages revealed to you and you're trying to make sense of it. You do, uh, somebody does have a secret admirer. This person just hasn't said anything. They're coming off as very isolated, very shy to themselves, but they're fantasizing about you uh, or you are fantasizing about someone. Hmm. 
It's possible, too, that someone is still holding on to you, but they're just not saying anything. They're not speaking up. They're not going after what they want. They're just being very passive and leaving out clues and hints, which are very confusing. Um, there may be a need, too, for you to make some sort of choice or decision, but I feel like there's some sort of stagnant energy of not knowing what to do, feeling stuck or trapped. Mm. Hmm. I feel like you guys are just needing to be patient with your situation. Um, quiet the noise around you. There may be too many opinions going on. You might be getting too many readings, watching too many readings. Um... A lot of this cross-watching can be confusing sometimes because you're experiencing one thing while whoever your love interest is is experiencing something else. And don't get me wrong, I get it. Like you're trying to see if you're gonna come up in the reading. Um, but sometimes that can just be really confusing. Mm. And then ultimately though, with the high priestess here, you know, she is kind of secretive. She's kind of quiet. She doesn't want you to know certain things um, and I feel like the outcome of your situation is questionable because it depends on what action somebody's gonna take like what is someone's next move gonna be um, until that happens we don't know and I really feel like it depends on you like what are you gonna do like the decision the next decision that you make could like change everything um, so it could be that the ball is in your court, but, you know, you haven't done anything to change your future. So until you do, and maybe you're waiting for someone to approach you, or maybe you're waiting for this to happen or that to happen. Um, at some point, you know, you have to be the one to make a difference or make a change. Um, and I say that because I, I feel like, you know, some things are destined um, some things are going to happen regardless, but I feel like whatever you're confused about at this moment requires your actions. So this is a situ one of those situations where free will is involved because it's like, okay, you, you've got to do something depending on what you do next is going to change the outcome. Um, so again, like tr trust your judgment. I think too, the confusion comes from when you doubt whenever you doubt yourself that's that's always been true uh for me like whenever you're confused about something um or whenever you doubt yourself that's what confuses your judgment what does your initial gut say trust it and move on it um so yeah someone's also concerned about a pregnancy because I'm seeing the nine and I'm thinking about how pregnancy is in darkness so I feel like something could possibly be revealed within nine months a child may have appeared to you in a dream and you're like feeling like, you know, <laughs> how are you going to have a child if you're single or if your tubes are tied, you know, just whatever the case is, just something may be going on where it seems like you're being visited by a child. Someone is also leaving or moving on because they're tired of secrets or tired of being a secret. Tired of being a mystery or kept in the dark about something. Someone is ready to just like let it go. They're like, I don't, this is too much.
you, like I said, you might have multiple secret admirers, but none of them is, are saying anything. So that might also make you feel like, well, I give up. I also see that there are some sort of blockages or it feels like something's blocking you in your life. Either blocking you from moving on from a confusing situation or blocking you from um, being able to see, you know, some someone else. Like maybe you're still holding on to someone else. Someone is worried about being judged about who they truly are. Um, so I think something also is being kept a secret, like as far as whether or not maybe someone has a disease, maybe someone um, does something for a living that they're not too proud of or that society would judge them about especially if it's working in the adult industry. I'm kind of getting that. Um, someone also may be sexually fluid or bisexual um, or just does not really like to put a label on their sexuality, which could be blocking this, this person from moving forward. I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, but I do feel that overall someone is worried about being judged because of their, who they are on the inside, what the, their personal and private thoughts really are, who they are, what they do, how they make their money. Yeah, that's, that's starting to be like the over, overall message I'm getting. Someone's worried about being judged. They're like, I like this person, but this person comes from a nice family and here I am, I do porn, you know. I just kind of feel like, and that is, the reason why I keep saying that is because I have been channeling that for somebody, like somebody does that for a living and they're embarrassed or ashamed when it comes to certain people. Like maybe normally they, they don't care, they're like, it's what I do, but then around a certain person, they're like, they're going to judge me. I can't tell them that. Um, so, yeah, I am getting something like that. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Libra or Capricorn. Someone is also hiding their emotions, being very quiet or secretive about how they feel. Yeah, there may be something going on with uh, another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, somebody does feel ignored or rejected and they're concerned about being judged um, or concerned about something that they did in the past. <clears throat> if someone is in a relationship, I I've, I've just feel like someone's needs aren't being fulfilled especially more so like uh, sexually um, someone might have some certain type of fantasies or just maybe they want someone with a different physical appearance or body type or size like something's going on where um, if you're in the relationship it's like something isn't right something's off and it's like trying to fulfill your needs through secret ways. Um, maybe even thinking about having an affair or something might start off as an emotional affair. 
yeah so hopefully these messages messages help um but feel free to leave your feedback thank you guys for watching sending love and grace